position unlike anyone else in the industry. And in 2020, we expect to have a million robo-taxis on the road with the hardware necessary for full self-driving. We believe we'll have the most profitable autonomous taxi on the market. Yes, that was 2019. That was Musk on an earnings call promising to have a million robo-taxis the following year. It's five years later now, and we're just getting a look at that robo-taxi later today. But my next guest says the hype is there and that robo-taxis could generate $1.7 trillion in global revenues by 2040. And that's got him upping his price target on Tesla to 236 from 224. Tom Narayan is here. He's from RBC Capital Markets. He's their global autos analyst. Um, yeah. Where do we begin? So I guess the, the central point is, while many are skeptical that, you know, Adam Jonas included, that we might hear that much uh, really tonight on the arrival of the robo taxi, um, you think there might really be something here that that moves the needle in the near term? No, I, I probably agree with Adam Jonas in that <laughs> near term. Uh, we saw the stock uh, kind of run into this event um, we saw that because the delivery number, remember the stock sold off on that, which makes folks think that it probably traded up into it. So near term, probably, yeah, not a lot of upside, maybe even the sell the news type thing. But this is more about the long term when we look back five or 10 years back and look at this event and, and remember what it means. Folks like me will po finally put this in their numbers, right? Uh, and I think we may get some Easter eggs today, too, that could potentially uh, move the stock near term. And in a weird way, I think it, it's one of those, it's like the line about Trump, right? You take Musk kind of seriously, but not literally. The idea being robo taxis coming, it might just be years longer than, uh, than it takes. Um, but the impact for shares, you think, is what? That if, the, tell me what exactly you think he's going to announce tonight. What's in the stock already and what's not? Yeah, I think what we'll get is a couple of things. I think we'll get an actual service announcement, like there will be a deployment of some service, and that will be six to 12 months out, uh, something similar to like a Waymo or a Cruise. Um, I think also we'll see a vehicle. I don't know how relevant that will really be. Um, I think we may get some stuff on Optimus. The invitation that we all got said, we robot. So maybe beyond just the, the robotaxi itself, We'll get a lot of numbers, too, right? The TAM of this whole market opportunity. The economics are amazing. Um, and I think we'll get a lot of information on why their tech is better than what's out there. Thanks to FSD, you know, there's an arms race for NVIDIA chips. They have a lot of them. Mm -hmm. um, so I think folks will get a, more detailed than just simple, uh, you know, PowerPoint slides. We'll get actual numbers that we can put into our models um, and that's something that will maybe not have a direct impact near term, but it'll help us with the narrative of looking at this as a tech company and not an auto company, not being focused so much on quarterly deliveries right. and automotive gross margins, X credits, you know, yeah. and focus on something much bigger. That said, Waymo is already there. They beat Tesla to the punch, didn't they? And I'm curious what that means. I mean, at some point it shows that if this is doable, Tesla should be able to do it. But they've got to it's they got to get up to par with Waymo soon, don't you think? Well, I mean, as we've shown in our report, it's a 1.7 trillion revenue number by 2040. I only actually have Tesla at around 250 billion of that. Uh, so it's a lot of folks are going to participate in this robo taxi ecosystem. Um, but it, it dramatically improves the profitability of the transportation sector. Uh, you know, you pay a dollar, two dollars for an Uber ride. It only costs 30 cents to operate these. The margins go from like 10% for a car margin to eight, 60, 70% for a software company. So it dramatically increases the pie for everybody, including Waymo, including Tesla, including app providers like Uber. I mean, a lot of different companies are going to play in this. It's just going to demonstrably increase the size, the pie of overall uh, mobility. All right, let me leave you with this then. What to you is a sell the news kind of uh, set of announcements or, or, or robo taxi announcement? What robo taxi announcement sends the stock down 10 or 20 percent? Oh, yeah, certainly if uh, if we don't get, you know, a near term service announcement, if we're told that this is 10, 15 years out, uh, if they talked about costs associated with this hmm. being significant. Um, Are the departures yeah, nothing significant? Concrete. We, you know, we continue to see sort of key staff leaving the delay of this event in the first place maybe suggests there's a lot of pressure behind the scenes to make it ready for prime time. 
Well, I mean, that's, as I'm told uh, by our tech analysts, that this is something that's kind of par for the course uh, for the industry. You know, you have people leaving here and there. It's it's not, not anything I think that's significant. And this has happened with Tesla for, for a long time, well, people I've, leaving. I very much look forward to the announcements uh, and to seeing what the stock does both tonight and uh, in the next couple of weeks as investors digest yeah. it.